Hi, Ron One here, the Little Weird Jeep, and I'm in the Little Weird Shop right now. I just wanted to show you, I didn't say the box, but the backup light I added to my uh, Little Weird Jeep. I got, a, it's an auto drive, it's just an inexpensive one. I actually got it at Walmart with the wire harness, and I put that on the Little Weird Jeep as a auxiliary backup light, and it works great. I was shocked, so... Let's go out and take a look at how I put it on. Okay, here's uh, what the light looks like. I put it up on this uh, Cargo Master rack right up here. It's a six inch LED wide angle. Yeah, I'll zoom in on that there. So I, whoops, put it up there. And um, run the wire down the, uh, rack there then into the uh, Jeep over there into the back over oh boy over there into the soft top and down in and up to the front and let's go look at the wiring up front all right and I also got the wiring harness through that same company and it came from Walmart but uh, here's the fuse for it right here. Here's all three of my fuses is for the KC spots, the KC wide angles, and that backup light. Right there is a fuse, and then there's a relay right in here for that backup light. You can see it right there. And then ran the wire down along the frame, down up under there up through the wheel well and up here to the light. Okay, and then for the switch, I ran the wire up, took this little side piece off, run it up in there and put it on a switch right here with my KC's. And this is a switch for the backup light. Believe it or not, they use the same switches that KC does. So I got all three in there. That's my uh, spots up front. It's a wide angle ones on the side of the Jeep. And the backup light, and someday I'll get me some rock lights and put the switch right in there. So there's the switch for it. I like that location there. It was real easy to get it. I didn't even have to take this front panel off. I could get at everything from the side. So and those switches light up when it's on. So that's the little backup light. Now we'll just take a little clip of uh, at night. Uh, the light, extra light it shows uh, as soon as it gets dark here. Okay, here it is, uh, no backup light. And first we'll have the just the stock Jeep backup light. So there's the stock Jeep backup lights. Now we'll add the auxiliary light. See what a difference it makes. Whoa! I'm going to turn off the Jeep stock light, put back in park, and that's the auxiliary light so you can see the difference. Uh, and there's a little dark spot there where it can't, the light doesn't get past the spare tire, but if you look through the rear view mirrors, which I'll give you a shot of that, it lights up on each side great for when you look through your rear view mirror for backing up. Here's looking in the rear view mirror. Here is with the backup lights, stock backup lights. And now we'll flip on the auxiliary light. So as you can see, when you're looking in the mirror back, boy, that really lights, adds a lot of light to see what you're backing into. And I'll go over here to the other side. See how bright it is there with the auxiliary. Turn the auxiliary off, bam. Woo, big difference. I like it. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye.